when we think about uh, European Union, yeah. we can see that in European Union the religious uh, freedom is not the same in every country. Unfortunately, in some countries in Europe, religious freedom, I would say, is a threat, threatened because uh, the culture are changing and some ideas that are new in society, they are in conflict with some of the main ideas of Christianity. Uh, and I talk about uh, Christianity because th that is the main religion. And so uh, um, I see that in Portugal, for the time being, there is religious freedom for Christians and non-Christians, for Jews, for Muslims, for Hindus, for Buddhists, whatever. But um, things are changing in Europe and I would say that Portugal is a wonderful country to live according to one's beliefs. My thinking about this is today the main issue concerning religious freedom and really freedom of expression or freedom of speech is the limits to freedom of speech because as we understand it freedom of religion implies that the believer can share his beliefs with others and can uh, even uh, try to persuade others that he is right and others are wrong. And the problem today is that when some people hear uh, a statement that uh, in some way is against his or her beliefs, the person gets offended. And when people get offended, they sometimes uh, say that what the other person is doing is hate speech. Uh, so when, when a believer shares his views about some issues, uh, for example, LGBT questions, uh, mainstream issue uh, concerning um, gender, this is a problem because uh, Christians in, in, in average have a perspective different from the common culture. And people think that uh, Christians are hate speakers and feel offended by the beliefs of Christians. And we have examples uh, currently in several countries in Europe about this. Christians that shared their views uh, explaining what the Bible was telling about some issues and they are in court being prosecuted criminally for what they said and what they wrote. So this is a problem uh, concerning uh, in nowadays, yeah. If there is no freedom of speech, there is no freedom of religion because um, you cannot be a religious person in silence. If the government uh, commands you to keep quiet, keep silent in your corner, the government is telling you you cannot practice fully your religion here in uh, this country. So if there is no 
freedom of speech to uh, convey to others our opinions according to the Bible, we are being limited in our way of expressing and living our faith. This conference is very well prepared and a very timely uh, theme was chosen because we need to discuss this issue, what is happening here in Europe and in the Western world concerning freedom of speech. So uh, I think this is a remarkable conference and we'll uh, have an impact in uh, in Portugal and other countries, I'm sure. Uh, we have very experienced uh, scholars here, academics, and we are uh, seeing that our differences between them, but that is what freedom of speech is about. I, I was uh, telling um, the audience uh, that we are living odd times when people are smart, are intelligent, they care about animals and environment, but in some way our culture is changing and basic human rights such as freedom of conscience and freedom of uh, speech are threatened uh, by a new culture and we need to work in a way to stop this threat against basic human rights. I was uh, telling um, the audience that we Portuguese people know what is living without freedom of speech. We knew what freedom of speech is in 1974 and we see the difference uh, of living without or living with freedom of conscience and freedom of speech. And I would like really that we could find a way to prevent that a new kind of dictatorship, a new culture can implement a prohibition of people thinking freely and express freely what they believe in. And that is what is at stake now in Europe. People are being uh, put in jail, people are being taken to court, people are paying the price for speaking openly because in some countries they are not anymore free to express their beliefs. And this is a major concern for us all, all of us.